author of A House of Mud, which was illustrated by Katrina Fisher and published by Little Pink Dog Books. Welcome to our virtual launch. In this little speech, I just want to tell you a little bit about the story behind the book. So the inspiration for the story came out of the real life experience that our family had, myself, my husband and our three children, who were quite young at the time, of building our own house, our mud brick house. So the mud came out of our own land. Um, we uh, had dug a dam and the dirt from that and water created the mud to make the mud bricks. So it literally grew out of the ground, out of the land. It was an amazing experience, just fantastic to see it go from the mud um, to bricks to a house. Um, it's like a, seeing a house being born. It's quite extraordinary experience and very much a family experience. Um, and that's very much the feeling that I wanted to recreate in the book. So the inspiration for the characters, um, the main characters are, of course, um, our three children. Um, well, the, the characters in the book, in the story are, you know, three children, but they're very much based on ours. Um, Philippa, Xavier and Bevis who were quite young at the time. <clears throat> and also our dog, Tess, um, who's no longer with us, but who lived with us for 15 happy years and who at the time was a puppy and very much involved in, mostly in getting in the way and running around. So I decided to write um, the story, of course, from the children's point of view, because not only is it a children's picture book, and that's what I wanted to write a text for a children's picture book, but also because the children's perspective is, is very interesting. They approach it in a very different way. Um, the adults are in the background doing all the practical things, you know, planning, you know, creating stuff. But the children, it's, for, it's an extraordinary experience. Um, first of all, I mean, what fun to be able to just play around in the mud and nobody rouses on you and says, you know, not to get dirty. You just can get covered in mud from head to foot. And that's fine because you're making mud bricks. Um, but also all the way up to seeing how a house is actually created, all the different aspects of it. Um, and of course, you know, just being part of the whole experience for them, I think it was quite wonderful. And it was wonderful to see the way that they responded to it. And also with our little dog, who was also very happy about it. So I started writing the story I, I, some years after we'd built the house. Um, but the first few drafts, I couldn't quite get it the voice right. I knew I wanted to write it from the point of view of the children, but how, how, whose voice it was going to be exactly and how it was going to work. Um, I tried various things and, and um, it, it took a while until I got the voice right. So the story is obviously from the point of view of the three children and the dog, but it's also told by the eldest child, the girl, um, and who sort of talks about how it's like, for her, her brothers and um, and the dog, um, and how they go about making their own impact on the house building. So um, even though I'd written this story, I, I wasn't sure that anyone would be interested. It's not a very usual experience, I suppose, and um, I wasn't sure. Um, I did actually send it to the school magazine, um, and it was published um, in an earlier version. and. Um, but, you know, after that, I wasn't sure about it going any further. And then um, one day I was talking to Peter and Kathy Creamer from Little Pink Dog Books and who were also friends and had come to our house and seen it and really liked it and were interested in how we'd built it and, and so on and about the experience and happened to mention that I'd written this story and they asked if they could see it. And I sent it to them, of course, and... Um, they loved it at once and connected with us very strongly straight away, which was just so amazing and delightful for me. It was just so wonderful because it was such a special text and such a special experience and to have them respond so positively was wonderful. And of course, they found a wonderful illustrator in Katrina Fisher. Absolutely fantastic. She really responded to the text, really responded to the story, to the family, to the dog, um, to the whole atmosphere. And even though she based um, some of it on our family and on the photos that I sent her and 
or that of the house, but she created her own visual world, which is full of wonderful, wonderful details of all kinds, um, and which is just so through was so thrilling to watch it through sample sketches and then storyboard and and you know proofs. So this was this beautiful visual world um, that Katrina created, which you know was full of yeah lovely little details and um, and also really also for me was a very important part it really sort of really immortalized our lovely Tess our dog um, and just her whole character was very much there in the pages of the book so this is an exciting moment when you're holding the book in your hands and you're looking at it and the actual thing itself um, is wonderful um, it's just beautiful to see it um, to touch it to, to feel it to even smell it it's just just such a fantastic moment and I couldn't be couldn't be happier with how it's turned out it's the most beautiful production and here we come to this moment where now the book is being launched into the world it's going to go into bookshops going to be picked up by readers and hopefully loved by readers I hope I hope that people love it as much uh, as we do and I hope that it strikes a chord with lots and lots of readers so I'd like to end by thanking um, everybody. Thank you very much for listening. Um, thank you very much for um, being here. I want to say thank you so much to my wonderful um, publishers, Peter and Kathy, to my wonderful co-creator, Katrina. Um, I want to thank my family, my husband, my children, my children-in-law, my grandchildren, my siblings, everybody who's loved and supported us um, in this enterprise of, of house building and now of the book coming out. Um, and I hope that everybody will enjoy our book. Um, thank you very much.